instead going to draw a fish. Yeah, we're going to draw a goldfish, a mom and a baby. We hope you're going to follow along. You need your drawing supplies. We're going to use a pencil and a marker. You also need some? Paper and something to color with. All right, you ready to start? Yes. Let's use our pencil to draw the main shapes of our goldfish. And we're going to draw ovals, big ovals. We're going to keep them really basic. We're going to start here and we're going to draw the mom shape first. We're going to, I'm pressing hard too. But you can press lightly at home so that it's easier to race. I'm going to go back over it and make it maybe just a little bit bigger up on top and a little bit longer on the right. And the nice thing about using a pencil is you can go in and erase any of the lines you don't want to keep. This is fun because then you can get the shape just the way you want it before we use our markers. Mm -hmm. Now we're ready to draw another oval, but we're going to draw it smaller and we're going to draw it right about here. This is for the baby goldfish and we're drawing them overlapping. So this one's in front of the mom and that's the other reason why it's nice to use the pencils so we can get these shapes just right. Now let's switch to our eraser and erase the oval that goes inside of the baby shape. Now that we have the main shape of our goldfish, we can switch to our marker. Let's first draw the mom's fin on top of our baby's head. So we're going to draw the letter U and we're going to go over the baby shape and come back up. That looks like I'm almost drawing an oval shape because it almost connects. And then we can draw a little curve to connect the top of that U shape. Oh, we could also draw a little wrinkle line inside of the fin. Let's switch back to our eraser and erase the pencil line inside of that fin. Now we're ready to draw the baby shape of the body. We're going to draw over the pencil lines, the guidelines. Just trace right on top, come around and connect to the fin. Cool. Now let's draw the top fin for our baby fish. We're going to draw an upside down U like that. We could also draw the bottom fin and draw a U shape like this. Let's also draw wrinkle lines inside of those fins. I'm going to draw two on top and also two on the bottom. Oh, let's draw the side fin too. Let's draw a backwards C shape inside of the oval. Yeah. And then we, <laughs> then we can draw a little curve connecting the side of that fin. Oh, let's also draw a little wrinkle line just like we did for the mom fin. What should we draw next? The tail fin. Yeah, let's do it. We'll start right here. I'm going to draw a big curve that comes out for the top of the fin. And then I'm going to come back out for the bottom of the tail fin and then into the body. That's a fun shape. Yeah. <laughs> and then we could draw the two little fin lines inside also. Our little baby fish is missing a face. Let's draw, let's draw a circle for the eye. And we could draw a smaller circle for the little reflection or highlight. And then let's color in that big circle, but leave that little circle white. Good job. Our fish is missing a little mouth. Let's draw a little fish mouth. <laughs> we did it. There's our baby fish. Now let's draw the mama fish. We're going to start here and actually draw on top of the pencil line or the guide line. We'll just trace around all the way over to the back of the baby fish. I love that your mama shape is a little different than mine. That's okay, right? Mm -hmm. They're both turning out awesome. The most important thing is to have fun and to practice. Practice. Yeah. All right, let's keep going. Now let's draw the top mama fin. We're going to draw an upside down U shape that matches the baby shape right here. And then let's draw the two little fin lines inside. And then let's draw the mom's tail. I'm going to start here and draw coming up, kind of like we did for the baby one. Come in, back out, and then I'm going to curve back in. Cool. Oh, I like that yours <laughs> overlaps. That looks really cool. Okay, now let's draw those two little fin lines also. And let's also draw the mom's eye. I'm going to draw a circle. 
and then the little circle inside for the highlight. There you go. And let's color in that big circle just like we did on the baby eye. Remember to pause the video if you need extra time to color in your eye. What should we add next? Eyelashes. Yes, definitely. We're going to add two little curves coming out of the eye. <laughs> Let's draw the mama's mouth. I'm going to draw an oval shape like this and then color it in. You could even add a little bow on top of our mama fish. I'm going to draw <laughs> an upside down U. And you could actually add any details you want, extra details to your drawing. You could add a background. You could draw more baby fish. What else could they add? Sand and seaweed. Oh yeah, a whole background. That would be really cool. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bow line inside. And also we gotta add some bubbles, except instead of circle bubbles, I'm gonna draw heart bubbles. <laughs> I'm gonna draw some heart bubbles coming up because it's the mama fish loves her baby fish. Mm -hmm. She's taking care of it too. She's got a little fin protecting her baby fish. I'm going to draw little baby bubbles down here too. <laughs> oh, maybe one more over here. Hadley, we did it. We finished drawing our mom and baby goldfish. They look really cute, except we're not completely done. We still need to color them. Yes, this part will fast forward again. So remember to pause the video and take time to color your drawings. Oh, before we color though, let's use our eraser one more time and erase any of the pencil lines you can still see. All right, you ready to fast forward? Yeah. We did it. We finished drawing and coloring our mama and baby goldfish. <laughs> turned it's out so cute. Yeah. <laughs> turned out really cute. I especially love the pink bow and the little heart bubbles. I like that my baby goldfish looks scared. Yeah, she kind of <laughs> does. <laughs> but that's why mom's there, right? Mm -hmm. To make you feel better. Always. Yeah, always. <laughs> <laughs> you can pause the video right now to match our same coloring or you could color any way you want. We used our markers to color with. But you can use whatever you have at home. Yeah, and you could also change the colors. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing fish. We do, we hope you had a lot of fun, and we hope you take time to color and add more things to your drawing. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.